pretty much everyone asks about the pain. <laughs> is it gonna hurt? <laughs> Does it hurt? <laughs> everyone asks about the. That's always the first uh, question. Is was it as painful as everyone says? It's always about. Uh, the pain that's associated and some of the myths that are out there. Uh, so that I try to dispel some of those myths as, uh, you know, what I went through myself. No, it doesn't hurt. At times I was fatigued um, and I would get random kind of body aches, but very minimal. They were very mild and nothing that Tylenol or Motrin couldn't take care of. They're surprised that it doesn't hurt. Uh, at least it didn't hurt me. And that's what I have to stress to everybody. It didn't hurt me at all. I never felt anything in any kind of relation to pain. Honestly, the tube hurt more than anything. My throat's really sore. Everything else is fine. It's just like a sore muscle more than anything on my back. It's not like a painful throbbing kind of pain. It's more um, soreness. Like like you haven't, you used to work out a lot frequent, uh, frequently and then you stopped and then now you're back at it and you're sore for those few days. That's kind of what it feels like. And I would say I'm more fatigued than anything. When I came out of the anesthesia, my wife was there and she's like, so when's the medication gonna wear off? And the nurse is like, there's no medication in him, he's done. I wanna be honest with people about the experience. Um, and I tell them, it, it hurts. I didn't take any medicine throughout my whole bone marrow, actually. The doctor that I work with had to beg me to take a Tylenol. So actually I took one Tylenol just to appease her. Um, but it, it did, the back pain didn't get to me until I got home. And it really was, it, it was bad, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't, um, I don't know, maybe I'm just strongly against taking that. It felt as if somebody was basically to walk behind me, uh, punch me in the hip. Uh, and so for two to three days, I had sight soreness on my hips. Walking up and down stairs is definitely a lot more tiring, but as far as soreness and pain, they definitely do a really great job here of helping you out and giving you medication to help with that, so. Someone told me once though, um, he, he was a recipient. And when he goes around and he tells people and they ask the question, you know, does it hurt? He says, does it hurt to watch a two-year-old die of leukemia? You know, that's a little bit different pain and it, it puts it into perspective. I actually signed back up. I'm actually, I signed back up and I am, I'm hoping I get the call actually. I, I, I would, be, now that I, I, I kind of have the experience, I would be happy to donate again. Uh, but to me, that sight soreness uh, potentially gave the, that, that person that I was donating to the opportunity to live another day another week, another month, or possibly several years. So for a few minutes of pain or a few days of pain, I was more than willing to, to do what was necessary to help somebody. Remember, it's a, a bigger picture here. Uh, there's a patient that a lot of times this is their last chance. Um, so, you know, even if there is a little bit of pain involved and you don't feel very well or you're a little fatigued, so be it. Um, my experience was a little different. Um, and I, I tolerated very well. I had very minimal aches and I was just a little bit tired every day, but that was about it. And the day of donation, it was quick and easy. Everything was pretty much as advertised. So I uh, really can't complain.